What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And tonight, we have a living legend in the building. Listen, this song has been in existence for the past 52 years. Listen, you know who we have in the building today? We have Father Jack Scorpio in the building today from Black Scorpio. What's going on, big boss? Well, I'm here, you know, giving thanks to life, you know, living another day in a different situation here, but I'm great, I'm great, you know, we know, you know, things not happening like, you know, oh, it should be happening, but we still have to just yeah. live, live, live with the means, you know. You understand how it goes, and especially somebody like you that's been in the business for so long, you've seen a lot of ups, you've seen a lot of downs, so you understand how it could go from time to time. Yeah, I understand. It's for true. That's really that's true. Are, all right. Let's get in. Let's get into your sub history here because you have so much history, and I don't know how much I could get, but I'm gonna try my guess to get as much as possible out of Father Jack Scorpio. All right. Okay. Let's start in the beginning here. How did you initially get into the music business? Was it production first or was it Black Scorpio sound first? No, sound first. Sound is like um my son, in my beginning of 1968, when I just got my, I always say that I could do it for me, and I think one side is a turntable, one yeah. side is, is a um, speaker. Mm -hmm. And um, I bought that, getting a little work when I was about 16 years old at that time. Mm -hmm. 15, and I, um, that's how the second thing was a special thing to me because I did, I love music so much, especially people like one of your church, yeah, Dennis Brown. All right. Like that. And, um, Delroy Wilson, you know, young man like myself and all of that, and them used to sing. But anyway, that my first two albums that I bought was a Delroy Wilson album named Good All Over and Heptones on Top. When I bought my little set and, you know, in Jew, in, land, in my little community, Jews land where mm -hmm. I um, grew up and all of that. You know, as era youth, we, we, have this little thing was battery to to play with to that even I we never my am I a woman never well enough current. Okay. So <laughs> my six battery and but we when I put on my LP which is like good all over and it's like, you know, the whole of the people and the you would them that year, right? Everybody used to get up on my gear just to just listen to some music. But it happened that getting to love it so much I end up being a little my um that nineteen sixty eight in the, in the following two years, you know, my man used to work with my dad. You know, he's a man who used to sell food and all of that. Okay. So I used to go on the street with him and all of that whenever not going to school. So I used to, you know, he used to sell his food and him give me a little bungla cane and say, okay, you can sell that and give about the profit. So I sell and give the profit and I could get my money, make up on thing. But... Um, destruction struck in 1970. Okay. When he got to get knocked down and thing and this lost his life and from there to so now, actually he didn't marry to my mom, he married to another lady. Okay. And um, it's like I'm on my own, so it's like I have to take up, you know, a manhood from that. This year. And that actually I was going about 18 year old and at the time when I built a little shop for my dad did have a place in Jerusalem, so I built a little fried. Yeah. We used to sell little fried dumpling and little saltfish and all okay. that. And <laughs> so within that, you know, I started to get up a little phones until I buy a little amplifier and a speaker box. And I call that. No, well, I'm a rough fuck. I did call my little dude to me in a special eye from beginning. So okay. my so my song, the name Special Eye from 1968. Yeah. Actually, to 70, when about 1970, mm -hmm. I changed it to Scorpio. 1970, 71, going to 72, yeah. yeah. Because it was 1970, I used to still call it Special Eye, but what really happened, the two political parties in Jamaica, which was the JLP and the PMP, and in those days, them slogan was one is saying, I up. <clears throat> I'm only saying power. Got you. So, with my son name Special Eye, I didn't want to be a brand like I'm supporting the 
the party. I don't support no party when it comes to my music. I support mm -hmm. music, and my music is universal to everybody, whether you want to be or power, you want to have. So what I realized, uh, the name Specialized was like, um, I, 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 I actually, uh, I, I maybe big up Specialized, maybe big up the higher party, and I said, no, I don't want to go there. Yeah. So <clears throat> it happened that in those days, you know, Give thanks unto Gemini, which was Gemini was was there as a sound. Mm -hmm. And um you have people like Virgo too. And um but automatically when I see that, I say, Well, you know, I'm I'm a Scorpio from by the second November. So you know um, and everything was black within the time because actually my first sound I played and I saw him Black Solidarity, I have Black Attorney, King Attorney, okay. Black, Black Root. But I just changed and I said, okay, Black Scorpio, if I true I'm a Scorpio. And so it within 1970, 71, the, the name was changed to Black Scorpio because the election was coming up, 72. And, you know, the excitement and the this and the that. So but anyway, the name Black Scorpio, you know, Actually, my first dance because I never used to play. I play all that. I play at my home. Okay. Which is where I have the little shop and all of that. Every night I used to play at Jules and you know, I gather a crowd of people used to come there and play domino and all them this and gamble. But anyway, the first class dance I play, I never forget was a song from Marvel. He was the leading song named okay. Black Solidarity. Yes. Where you know that you know that I. Play them right before my home because that's in Jordan, right over face my yard. And well, you know, I end up winning the clash, so it's like the first time I <laughs> enter. And that's that, that, that's why I know, you know, in that in those days, you know, you'd have well, Tobis was in, in you know, Tobis was there, Gemini Tobis was wrong back then, also. Yes, but it was like easy now because you Roy did kind of leave him and you Roy automatically now have his one son named Stereograph. Yep. So it happened that Tobias was fading away because he didn't have you Roy was fading it anymore. So okay. I think that you, when I, when I just come and I win those clash with Black Solidarity, it end up that I go to Marvel and play him again and win him again. Okay, so, so that, two times now. Back two times now, back to back, because beat him in, in my community. Him saying, Well, I'm in a film community, <laughs> which is marvelous. <clears throat> and then, up them time, then that's how I sat across and um, General Chief Brother, that General Chief, I was not DJ at the time, but General okay. Chief Brother, named, you know, him was, we call him Black. Um, he was my youngest DJ, and Sassafras, who used to DJ, held Susie Agogo, come from Marvel. Me and Sassafras was cool, but Black Saradality never used Sassafras as a DJ. Got you. So it ended up that Sassafras come to Scarfio and, <laughs> and, kill off Black, and kill off Black Solidarity. Solidarity in our community. Well, it happened that the name. Just start to take. I know you win in two clash one and you beat a big song in Marvel. I rule Marvel. Them days are dance nice, man. People yeah. just are come and dance. You, know. you have El Susie, a go go, and you have um, Del Sound, and even the same dancer. Well, in that, well, it happened that things start just develop and move. more more box now and more getting bigger. And, we started to tour all over Jamaica and crazy. You know, yeah. Back I, back I, then, what was what was a clash like back then opposed to later on? When you say a sound clash, how did songs clash back then? Well, sound clash is more like a DJ and the music, you know. For it's like you have you would have a DJ, yes, and Sassafras is my DJ and and then you know the music where you play for and we have to play part one and play part two. Them days when I have nothing named dub plate. That when I say dub plate, like special, no. Yeah. It's like the forty five and you play the version and the DJ that write the version and yeah. it will get that great response and 
you know, that, that's really how it used to be. Not like nowadays where Clash is just, you know, the, the mic man, the man, you and, you and the next DJ attack. And those days like it that. was like selector. And after be you have my selector, the next one of the selector, I have my DJ, next one of the DJ. And the better sound to your sound after really quality, have good quality, and you can get for um, make people react to you when the yeah. DJ starts to. Okay. Um, and at to, this time here, you had start building your sound system at this time. Here. Yes. Besides the door the minute, so you started to get yeah, a couple of boxes, a couple of amplifiers. Yeah. No, yes. And those days is not like now, which is um you have um transistor ham no, those days was tuba. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> those days it's like it's like, you know, my first amplifier I bought when I buy my first box then away from the Dulce you know, the guy named Scotch, right? Mm -hmm. He did have a little song down Irene Street. And he was, you know, selling out. And you know, I was selling my little thing, so I had a little money. So I ended up buying the box from him and a little amplifier from him, which was a tube amp, yeah. like a 4KT amp. And that's where I started. But within that period there, I end up get Tubby's. Well, Tubby's was building amplifier also. Yes, and I did transformer. Remember. <laughs> so I end up being like a 6KT amplifier to be do that first. Okay. And yeah. And that now, after that, I still, you know, the name started to develop more and more. And I went again. And Denton, which is another technician who, he was a very keen, but you know, Toby would not come to your home to come tune up yourself. Okay. But Denton Hood, and Denton is like the top technician away from King Tobias who will come, you know, fine tune you up, give you the sound where you want, until he start to build amplifier too, because he gets so famous and so popular that everybody really start to use it. So this was Tubby's apprentice that was first tuning up and then he started to actually build amps also. You know, he wasn't Tubby's apprentice. Oh, he wasn't artist. Tubby's apprentice? No, oh, okay. no, 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 no. He was a separate man from Tubby. But he, he's a man who worked like Metro Media Sound, um, sound like King Atani. Okay. Yeah, he works, he's still there in the business too. Denton is a famous name when it comes to um, technician and um, technical man yeah. who will make your sound so All right. So at that time, you have your song. So I figure, who were your first set of artists that you had DJing on Black Scorpio at that time there? It was, it was Sassafras and Black General Tree Brother. Okay. Named Black Shine, Black. Yeah. So he was the first to be my my first DJ really was him. Then Sassafras, Sassafras really. Yeah. Yeah, understand. But Sassafras started DJ the song from about 1970. Okay. Yeah, about well, 1970, 71. You know what I mean? But within those times, as I first started, he did so. Okay. And this time here, you have your artist, Sassafras. You have Black A Shine. So yeah. when did General Trees actually come into the fall on the sound system? Well, General Trees coming about 72, 73, mm -hmm. really, when Sassafras, when the sound started to take off, it's like General Trees was like more like, He's a shoemaker who would have come from the same community. Okay. And you know, his brother there with the song. And I would have said about 73, 74, trees really start as a young, you know, for you, them time the song started to develop. And um, I used to have a no, every Thursday night we used to have a session at my place. Okay. We call it like a talent search. You understand me? And that talent search, everybody from over 
out of the world, from Jamaica, from the Negril to Montego Bay, all about okay. come there on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Every artist actually used to be there. And that goes on for about, that goes on way up to, I would say about the 90s, early 90s. Okay, that, so this was like over 20 years that was... Yeah, that man, that is where, that is, I mean, listen, Edley Avenue was the place, you know, where when you hear them talk about House of Leon, one second, one second, because I'm trying to find them. House of Leo and Tropic and all these places come half to Black Scorpio. Yeah. Black Scorpio HQ was the place on a Thursday night where people from all over the world used to come. Okay. Yeah, whenever people want to have fun. Just like we have a wedding wedding on a Wednesday night. No, Black Scorpio HQ was the place. I but Stolo, Stolo used to live around the corner, around my place. Well, enough people don't know, say, yeah. the time named Purple Love live just around the corner from me. He used to be there, he know the whole thing. And this and, is Weepo you're talking about? Yeah, man, Weepo, man. And the Weepo, most of Weepo, we turn on my student to them, you know, but I wouldn't bother to go there, say it. <laughs> but that is true, that is the history again. But enough people don't know all them stuff, they want. Weepo. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. We poor me. We poor we live in Najuzan, right round <coughs> Sandalian there. And um, my place was the place mm -hmm. when you want you come from New York or Canada or America, anyway, in those days. Any time in the 80s it was that level, everybody trying to come there on a Thursday night. The road black. Yeah. Within those time. It's just like when the police them I look for a bad man, you know. For my place who so run big before all skate land. So you must know. Okay. If you, if you go into history, Edley Avenue was the place before all skate land. If man, if if when you know when bigger phone and Leng and um Trinity are young police. Mm -hmm. And my place then come for come look for bad man yeah. <laughs> on <a> Thursday <laughs> night. Time. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, man, you know, this late down in the 70s, 80s, it's, it was just Black Scorpio, HQ, what really was the, the place when, you know, every artist, mm -hmm. enough of the artists them today, what make a good name. We're not talking about the younger generation, we're talking about even the being a man, even the other friend of my little baby. Okay. You know, the Shabba Rankin, the Yellow Man, the... Brigadier Jerry, I mean, you know, name them, all of them, Black Scarpia is a place where most of them come, come make a name. Yeah. You know what I mean? People like, I mean, even Bounty Killer, the whole of them, everybody. That's you know, how serious they, it was. Yeah, that's the place. Yeah, the, you know, I mean, if you if, if I go into the history and you find the real history of my place, my place is the foundation of dance hall. I can tell you that. I mean, I, we, 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 people can tell you, say, Black Scorpio HQ was where this emerge of dance hall thing. I mean, we're not talking about the production now, like, we're not, we're not going to making a music we're talking about busting artists and artists want to make a name yeah but you want to tell me say I'm my place and me make it and me make him know say he's my artist him tell me that to the one mouth but you want to wow. sometimes me, when me when me said this thing i know me say it him say it to me him come to my place one night to come dj when he's my youth as a little boy i come from school and when you come around in the night, find out those days, you know, when you when you DJ, either you win. Normally we might give them some beer or we might give them a token or for them time we never used to produce. We just I deal with entertainment and you get a bus and we never we never used to produce neither. You weren't produced. You weren't produced. No, yet. no, I just just I highlight young artists. Mm -hmm. But it turned out that him come the night and him DJ. So when you DJ, you get percentage. So I was there beside 
him with a next guy who I work with named Color Chain, a great beard youth. Yep, so no Color idea. Chain now give him 20 percent. He might tell me this, I wouldn't remember if he never <laughs> said to me. And he says, Even though Superman says, Scorpio, this he look for me good and just take the mic from Color Chain and say, No, nah, man, that youth I deserve more than 20 percent, man. Why? Why? I'm <laughs> say, You know what? Um, I put 50 pallets and give him 17. He says, Carpe, me, it's real big, so I said, we get for no matter. <laughs> no, Bojo, man, Bojo, respect me and honor me. And he might tell me this fight because what? One day I do some dub for me and my shoulder down there, sir. Down there. Mm -hmm. With my shoulder. And I go see my vice, vice, and me like, me like, 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 which one are we doing have against Scorpio? And I said, the read rock, and he must fight more for it, too. That's, so, so, when when the man go down, he said, said to him, said, hey, Bojo, you can't pay your boss. Why you <laughs> <laughs> Bojo just turned around and looked for me and said, Scorpio, I need to pay you. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> Respect. Yo, that you, the, the man, I want to tell you some Japanese in my world final. Mm -hmm. Did you know some of them done work and do about 10 dub plates for me? And still turn on and give me five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw him go tell me, you know, you know, the history of what take place in him says, Scorpio, let me tell you this what you don't know. Me, I tell you as a, as a man. Let me I lick like a boy. Yeah. Look come at your place, Scorpio. And call that thing, give me twenty percent and he don't look when we talk. Scorpio, you as a boss. <laughs> <laughs> You as a boss, take the mic and say, No, man, that you that deserve more than 20, man. Me, I put 50 pounds and give him say, Mate, sure. He said, This following man, him go a chancellor and go buy him first tune for him, for, 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 for Riley. For What's this thing, if you know, say, I'm a um, 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 artist. I think go, that might have been stamina, daddy. He might have voiced that. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, about them time there, we go buy for um, Winston Riley, as he said. Techniques? Yeah, techniques, techniques. It might, it might have been stamina, daddy. Yes. Yeah, well, all them sang them one, but anyway, I, no. We listen. I don't mean say it's not. Would you tell me this? I'm la. Because you see, in 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 Edley Avenue, it's supposed to elevate youths. Mm -hmm. It's not just. We never want to turn on no you to have a chance. If a youth not sound good, we might say, come back next week, try again, keep in the vibe. And the same thing with my father. My father tell me the same thing too. He said, I used to come around here and him come. Boy, sometimes I'm going to kill him. In my shop, he might get all a bull or a piece of thing from my wife them then. And then we just give him something. And I mean, you, you, you know, which one used to live there? Anthony B. For, uh, yes, man. You know, they say, hey, most Anthony B. eating a star chill. used to rent my studio every Tuesday, you know. And okay. Stone Love rent it every Wednesday. So most of them Stone Love eat there, all of me real rock it there. I would have my studio them make them there, eat there, you know, Stone Love eats them. You know. Them Sanchez over here, you know, where Stone Love are playing on them sound and them big tune there, on yeah. the real rock. Out of Black Scarpe studio them come from. They didn't know that boss. So you had the studio before they got their studio? Yes, man. Long before them, man. The young man who was to the hey, at Tubbies and Jammies. And Jammies them I have through the life. I, normally, you should go rent Stranil one until we start to rent Dynamic until we build my studio. Yeah. You know, my studio finished. I started to build studio still. That 1985. Okay. I, from 1985, now my studio. But, so that's when you started to get into production at that time there? No, I did start before 85. I start from about 80, 80, 79 to 80. But I used to vice at Tobias and vice at Channel One. But I, that, that I built my one studio after. But I was, I was you know, fun. it sounded like, I mean, my first song was Pink Eye with Sasa. And that's about 79, 80. Yeah. And about 83. About year to two, year to three, we do poker drum and couple more song. And then now uh, year to four, year to three, when the class, we do minivan and you know, year to five, Ghana Negro them song there. You know what I mean? And were those, that's the general trees you're talking, were they voiced 
in Black Scorpion at that time, or you were still at Channel One Voice? No, I, no, most of these song, no, like, no, well, like, like, um, Tata Fast, no, it's like Channel One and RJ Struder, revise at Channel One, Poker Drum, mix at RJ Struder, um, Ghana Negro, vice at um, Channel One Struder. Mixers Channel One Studio and Mini Busto, Mini Van People Channel One. So most of them songs there, Channel One to Dynamic Sound. Got you. You know, yeah. Most songs what I vice as a hit song then in my studio is like, I'd say the Mega Band and them, the um, couple General Trees still, but. Um, song like Zion of Vision with Garnet Silk and stop you know. right there. Hold on, stop. <laughs> stop. Listen, I had a bunch of songs in my head and I totally forgot about that one in particular. How did that song come around with Garnet Silk? Because Garnet Silk was still a new artist at that time. There. How did you guys put that song together? You know, rhythm is a, is a key factor in, 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 in an artist and a, and a good artist. He will have a good song. For it was my song, it was Garnet's song. He had the song for quite a while. Okay. But he couldn't find a rhythm for the song. And I always want to voice him. And within the time with Blender, Blender used to come around the studio also for I guess. And 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 and, and Blender, it wasn't even Blender, it was um Tony Rebel. Yes. Tony Rebel used to come by the studio and Tony Rebel and I asked Tony Rebel, I said, I need to buy his I have a rhythm where I know he will like and all of that. And, you know, I I, I have two rhythms. I have a song. We have enough people don't know, know that song, but it's a great song named Spread the Love with Garnet Silk. Of Let's course. spread all the love. Big, 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 big song. I <laughs> right. know that one there. Big song. Uh, okay. Well, those are the two rhythms and the two rhythms what I buy today. And him just come, I, you know, God just sent him. And I just said to him, say, I've already him for you, you know, my son. He said, for him listen it, it's like him have this lyric so long. For if you notice, God had never do a double plate after that song, you know. You know what? You're yeah. right. I've never heard, I've never heard that as a double. No, never. Yeah. Because not even me could get it and say, this is a song where him have, you know, Sign of vision and the moon do a double fight because it's a special song to him. And when him do find out, when I do give him the rhythm, and realize I have this rhythm here. He never hesitate. He just, and he end up under the two songs the same day. And that is history again. But as I said, sometimes rhythm is a key factor mm -hmm. within an artist. And when you, when you as a producer, but that, that's the instinct I have, you know. I can just hear you as an artist, and I can pick the rhythm of make you boss. But there's one thing I tell enough of them, you know, me as a producer, and when me go into the studio artist, me go for make hits. My it is not number one. My it is a strong will live really forever <laughs> and ever. Yeah. That's how I make hits. For enough man, I'm going to go make a song for it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, go number one and then pay some more than pay no more. But nobody know I hear it again. Nobody know hear it. I named two songs with Garnet Silk with you, and then you, you, you just know so them is big song. Forever. None of these songs, all right. These songs never gonna chart in a Jamaica yet. <laughs> <laughs> what? This wow. is what I'm trying to say. Because you see, we, uh, that's, well, I have each song, you know, up on chart, but of to course. be honest, you know, those two songs, especially, never. Look on a song like Friends for Life with Dennis Brown. It never you, see, I you see, I have on the shirt, you know. That's so what I'm telling you. <laughs> so, and that but, did not hit the chart at that time? No, this, this is how Jamaica, Jamaica, you see, I, I make song, you know, but let me tell you, to be honest, you see, sometimes the chart business, you have to pay for to get the chart, get to the chart. And some song don't deserve to pay to go and chart. Some song just deserves the merit of, you know, it's good song, it's good song. The people them love it, play it, and it will. And you know, let me tell you something. I don't really, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't, you know, tip a man for do a thing if I promote, but certain songs 
I think it don't deserve yeah. to be paid. To be because paid. you're labeled that Black Scorpio with the Black Scorpio and the Blue, Right and Black Scorpio. Mm -hmm. The songs that I used to play, I used to play a song back then, and there were certain labels that you're going to take right away. If you see a Black Scorpio, you don't even want to listen to it. You're taking it. You see a Jammies, you're not listening to it. You're taking it. You see a Bobby Digital, you're not listening. You're just taking those. Because you know it's certain hit classic music that they have. Yeah, we 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 yeah, we try to, you know, they go you try to do that. That's what I'm saying. Right now, my plan is to really, you know, go back and make some song with some artists who actually really have potential. But that is the next level. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and because I know you've worked with basically almost every artist in the 80s, 70s, and even early 90s. When we're talking about you had hits with Sanchez, Barrington Levy, Echo Minor, Gregory Isaacs, um, yeah. Shabba Ranks, uh, Beanie Man, Man, Everton yeah, Blender, yeah. the list goes on. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. It's true, it's true, definitely. Yeah. All of them, everybody used to be there. I am, as I say, what I do and Edley Avenue and the Black Scorpio label and the Black Scorpio sound system, I do a lot to this dance hall and this fraternity of reggae dance hall music and dance hall artists mm -hmm. and the use them. I know my legacy is unbelievable. To I'm not bragging about it, but you I don't know think. it is there. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> but it is out there for people to see and know. My work is there, what I do. You understand me? I do so many for, especially the inner city, in my community, in the smaller community. Give thanks to Jamis also. He do so much. We do so much. Yeah. Yeah, we lost a great friend, a great producer, a great man, which was King Toby, and it shook me up. But we still hang on and still fight to the ghetto youth them and do what we can do for uplift them. And, you know, today, day, you know, I still have to say, thank God. You know, we lose a very wonderful person recently. I mean, I hear you call him name. I want to tell you that he was my first engineer when I just opened my studio, which was Bobby Digital. What? Yeah. Bobby Digital was the first engineer who come take a voice in my studio. I believe before he built his studio now. For he was, he man jammed have a little dispute and he ended up leaving jammed And that's about some 80, 19, 85, 86, 87, 86. But anyway, Bobby, when I'm when I talking about my studio now, I'm Bill Jordan. And the day when him come there and him start to work, Steely and Cleavy, not even Steely and Cleavy, Steely, wow. Steely, it was Steely come there with him little jump thing. I went, Steely said, Mama, man, Steely said, Blah, wow, what a sound, what a give me that sound there. Yeah. But Steely is a man who knew sound and him hear the sound and said, Jesus Christ, that's true, they are bad. And him, him lick the first with him and, you know, I am Bobby that. A, 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 a reason and Bobby have a good relation because the history goes like this, you know. Mm -hmm. I advised Shabba Rankin before Jamis because of Bobby Jesus has sent him to me. For Jamis never want to advise him. But here's the thing now. Yeah. It's another part of history. When Shabba come at me, you know, that time you have the Puna on already, you know. I have General Tree on the Punan with my muscle the place and say, Tarzan, every step in the man, Tarzan, Tarzan, and yes. muscle the world to country, you know. Mm -hmm. Shabba, that time I have voice a dynamic sound. That time I stood up, Bill, but never finished. Mm -hmm. And Shabba come down the night, you know. And I, I just see him Punan with him, Shabba, I do love Punan, the bad fan, you know. But you have now to me, you know. You see, I am yeah. a producer. I never produce a song I can't play for Rachel. Got you. And that is the reason why I didn't take the song. And the same night him got two name, Mike McCullough. Mike McCullough was up on top of the game. And I remember that one. That was yeah. a one away Shabba. You didn't one hear that one too much? No, 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 no. I know that. And it's after my studio bill now. Mm -hmm. 
that is don't head lag no no him come down there no and vice kick out your foot and you know man mascot uh, ball it out don't get lucky can that you go gala that's and a black scorpio yes a black scorpio but it's on my head lag no label that's what trick the people so hold on you have two labels yes one year Edley Avenue, a third Edley Avenue, it having all that song from Edley Avenue name, right, um, right time with Dennis Brown. Couple song well they found a label there. You have to look for that. You have to go yeah. in the, just look. If you go YouTube, you must find it. Man from Kindness from Black, from the, um, third Edley Avenue label. What is that? Black? What is oh, why? Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You are learning the history, you know, my A lot. <laughs> A lot. Because, again, you have to remember, if you've been in the business for 52 years, that's yeah. a lot of stuff. Even if we sat yeah. here for seven hours, we'd probably just get one day of what you've done in your entire career. <laughs> that is crazy. Okay, Shaba. Wow. Okay, so then at that point there, who else were you voicing? Or what, were, what would you say are your top three hits of all times even if they didn't make the charts but three monster songs well you know to be honest i can't tell you say some of them don't make the charts i think like she's mine who i make the chart the bitches chart uh, you get you know and um i get you know i do a couple albums with the yellow man one of them nominated for grammy which was not burn it down okay. nominated for grammy Never win the Grammy, but that was another massive set of songs who um, Dr. Dre did release at LP. Mm -hmm. And I, well, I would have said, my three big songs, so many of them. But anyway, I can't give away the same She's Mine, which is a massive song. You know, Everton Blender also, and the, that rhythm was a massive rhythm. Blend yeah. them was a massive one. Yes. Let Me Love It Down the Sand is a massive song. Mm -hmm. Then if you want to go, you know, as I say, Seen Zion, I mean, with Gone and Silk is a massive song. I mean, you, you, you can't give away a general tree with Minivan and Ghana and Negril because they are a massive song also. Then if you come back, back to even the, the younger youth, then, which is like a mega band, and we're going to give you a song boy killing, which is huge. Yes. And... You know, there, you know, Santa Frans, as I say, Poco Drum is my first number one. I can't tell you, say, it might, you know, but it's still a song where I really give you respect for. And um, people like Papa San, Style and Fashion and all these songs, which, you know, go number one from the Jamaican chart and all of that. So there is so many of them where, mm -hmm. you know, I can tell you where, you know, what I... You know, and and the list goes on. Yeah, the list is like I don't touch friends for life. Dennis Brown, some of the gay guys that them have so many songs with with him. And <clears throat> as I said, I don't even go. And then that is true again. What enough people don't know mm -hmm. is lazy body with their combine out. Yes, enough people don't know lazy body. Was a hit before the sling thing with him. For the second it with him come on a it song yeah. come on a computer with him. Lazy the first, body. Yeah. The first it song will come on a computer with him was Everybody Get Flat with Blood Fire Passy. Yeah. So these are some of the history what people must know. For sure. Lazy body was lit by the people who make the song. What I just said here. Um, everybody everybody get, get flat. Now after that, when the mech and lazy body come out, it just blow. Up. Mm -hmm. And it's after lazy body come out and make a huge impact. Then comes sling thing, which is um, by you there who make the rhythm and Wayne Smith. Down. Wayne Smith and his brother. Yeah. But my little body was the second it computer with him making a Jamaica away from every pass to get flat. Then the sling thing come and wipe everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> so because according to everybody, Slim Tim is the first 
computer rhythm that actually no is. no it's not the first it's the third but it's because it lick off everybody every pass it gets flat was the first computer rhythm. listen va you have to you have to go in the history book and yeah every pass it gets flat then later body come before sling thing yeah and then no sling thing come and you know that reaction which is a great thing you learn something i had no clue that was the order that they went in because again you know you know the story of the slim thing when wayne smith came with the castle yeah, keyboard i know everything. I, everything i know everything i know everything i know everything yeah. i know everything about that <laughs> me and jamie did an interview like this and then bring it up i'm gonna say jamie yeah let me tell you this man my computer we didn't eat before let me tell him i didn't know it i'm gonna look for the man say then same thing on your rhythm still a Wayne Smith and a brother with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm a friend, so we're not really going at that. But I know course. that still. Yeah, I want to get a bit more into your production, then we'll get into the song a bit more here. You started out when it was records, and then it went to CD, and then now it's streaming. What do you find is the biggest difference in production from records to CDs to now streaming? You know, so I don't even take on to the streaming yet. Let me tell you honest truth. Mm -hmm. Me's a record producer. Mm -hmm. He's a man that deal with vinyl. Mm -hmm. It's a from vinyl start to change. I start to lose the kind of interest I have for producing. You know? Because the thing with vinyl, mm -hmm. when I have an artist and I get a song, you know, I know I do reach to a point where I do my own distribution now, you know. Remember now. I start do my own distribution. Okay. So I start to shoot my record. So if I have a song and I record an artist, I know so I can press a thousand record and I can sell and make back some money. The artist can get some money. But from the CD come in, I mean, realize when you press one CD, everybody will press a CD, everybody get it. We can't make no money. Yeah. And to be honest, let me tell you the truth. When I said that, you know, me realize, you know, me must have got to try something else. When I said try something else, I said, why? What am I going to do to survive? Because me just a producer. I'm not an artist here. You know, if the more promotion they are to get, the more him will go do dub him. But I'm just a producer. I, I get paid by a record seller. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when that happened, you know, why is like, I start think what should I do? And to be honest, I start to put more investment in, you know, like I'd, I'd have built two more rooms for rent out and, you know, my place them are. From the CD thing coming, it's like, and then I start investing more, like, in you know, my business place and I try for it because I just say this now not work. Mm -hmm. For me, it work, you know, it's working. Yeah. But for me as a producer, it it's on the ticky side until now. You understand me? Oh, yeah, because I, 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 if you, you know what is producer not making younger thing we might make now is maybe some little publishing might come in but we're not making nothing from sales or anything yeah, no, and, 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 and with the thing. computer in a sense now everybody have a computer have, can have a studio so you know it's and we used to rent studio time and you know whole a vibe with everybody have the money where artists have their own things so it's kind of watered down to we Mm -hmm. And me is an analog man. Me is a man who like when I make a rhythm, me see the whole of a musician, the man, the whole of I. Nowadays, one man come with him thing and that's what music I make now. So it's not my thing, but me now I take it away from the nowadays generation. It's what is happening, and you have to fall in it. But I, 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 I hello? I hear you. Yeah. I can't tell you, sir. I won't get involved in it now. And then again, what the chain made to big time mm -hmm. was the type of song and the lyrics and the thing what the youth tell me that though. I yeah. couldn't deal with it. It's not me that. 
the gun thing and the this and the no. Sometimes some of them stand to come to me. Me, me, me not like a man who sell coke to my brother and sister and me not in a line now. But you know it though, it ruin them family, it ruin them people. We say Dennis Brown and get great that dead and I took coke kill them, you know. Them things they hurt my heart. For sure. So some so some, some of the tune what them I make, it come like you make some song or it's like you sell your brother coke or you sell for you make some song or tell a man, shot him in the head and glick out him more and I'm gonna dance after that. Mm -hmm. No, well, if I saw me if you make a money, me don't want that. Yeah. I'm Mr. Bean, man, the world and come and I give me that. I'm Mr. Boss here. Man. I'm not going to lay in there, you know. I'm not going to lay in there. I'm going to lay in there. I'm going to lay in there. I can't do them things. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Stick to what you know. Yes, then if I tell you something, the producer song, I don't play for a radio. I can't go to that time, but I'm going to go shoot a man and kill him, man. And be a gun and no, I couldn't deal, I can't deal with it. But, but that was that is that what what happening as what he would them I, I deal with and that's not no. no. But the good thing, the good thing with you is you have a catalog. You have a catalog of music that's so massive that if you don't produce another song today, ever, buddy, we could never, ever, ever forget about Black Scorpio label because your yeah. your catalog is just that crazy. But and and this is what I'm doing now, you know. For, I know people still don't know the real set of song. I, I, I'm going back in the studio just to work on my catalog again. Yes. Might be remix mm -hmm. and get some things together out of this new studio here and just put out, like I put out a 40 track CD or a 40 track thing. And this is Black Scorpio history. That's the why I want to come with Black Scorpio history. Boom. Yes. And just send it to the world on the world platform. Yeah, it's going to be, we'll definitely look out for that because I think there's a big disconnect right now from records to streaming where when you had the records, you could look at the label and yeah. see that, okay, this is black uh, stuff. Yeah. Now that it's, you're just hearing it, you don't, you don't know, no, no, you don't no. hear, you're not looking around, nothing. Yeah. That's it. That's what yeah. happened. So it's a but, big, uh, big difference. A big difference. But I, 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 I you know, I, I, I have a catalog where we'll, we'll live forever. And I'm going to, you know, I just go in the studio to more to work. I'm like, I have a little young artist named Jack Prolawa. Might be able to do some work with him. But sometimes these nowadays kids, it's like, yeah. they don't have that patience. Uh, and music is patient. Music alone shall live. I'm going to tell them, you know, say, listen. Mm -hmm. You can't outlive music. Music is bigger than me and you. Mm -hmm. Today I hear news and my heart bleed and I hope it will be better. That Bonnie will get another stroke. And I say, oh my God. But listen, Bonnie will have a catalog of music while will never die. And Bonnie will is from the Whalers, which is yeah. Bob mm -hmm. Peter and Bon. And there yeah, we all die and we're going to die and leave this music. And that's why I tell our artists and these artists, make song that will live forever and ever. Because once you put that on the tape, mm -hmm. and if it is good and if it is bad, it's going to represent you, right? And you must know that. Mm -hmm. It will, once it's going to tape and start to circulate, that's it. Your voice is out there, and that's why you're saying why you, you know, you so. can't take it. You can't take it back. So you got to know what you're putting out there because it's out there forever. That is what I'm trying to tell these young artists, and some of them, them, these young kids now, now I'm listening. Just, but as I said, I always say to we are the elders, and you know, if them now listen, we would never listen to. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yourself. <laughs> let's, get into, let's get into some of your sound history here before I get you out of here a bit. Okay. So then now I remember you said, okay, in the 80s and stuff, you were, you guys were playing out. You had a lot of the DJs and everything used to come to your place. What I never remember is who were some of the selectors that were playing Black Scorpio? Who were the big selectors controlling the sound at the time there? Well, the big selectors, them, you know, is Papa School, you know. Uh, you know, that's the, my main selector. Mm -hmm. But it, it ended up that we have Indian, we have, you know, we have um, Busha, 
Busha Indian that I'm ever Indian from New York also. Mm -hmm. We have um we have another selector they call in liquor school. We have culturally, mm -hmm. we have um who again we have you know, because you know DJ Wayne. That is the, the one who we have here now, actually. Okay. And 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 well, more in the life, but how that's the proper school was the main selector within the seventies, eighties coming up. But you're you're uh, forgetting you're forgetting one main selector that I've seen doing crazy things over the time, Jack himself. <laughs> no, man. no, me the body select the other word, man. You know, well, two, two, you know, well, you know, everybody knows that me. For any time, me not trouble like me and the man, you know. Me not be me. Well, I, I mean, listen. Actually, I am, you know, the selector, you know, but you know, two years ago, we spun them. I me say, but I me had the father feet, I me had the teacher for them, I me they there with the thing, and you know. And you know, yeah, when it comes to selecting, that's a part of me too. With you know, that's a part of what I love and uh, mm -hmm. me do for you, you know. Yeah. I've seen you do some amazing things. It's like your energy is is a next level when you get up on that stage. I said, hold on, you see what Jack's doing, boss? Jack is the <laughs> boss out there. You, you, you jump up on stage like if you're 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And remember, this is an all-night thing, you know. Oh, Where do you find this energy to do this? You know, hey, that's a good question. But listen, I try to well, You know, a tennis we play, you know, so we kind of run up and down I make sense. <laughs> but make I mean, sense. we keep my body, especially when we have a show, I mean, no. I am mm -hmm. a man, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm a selector and an entertainer, you know. I try to entertain my crowd. I don't just go there and stand up like a, I try to bring over a laugh. I try to give you a smile. I try to, yeah. you know, make you feel like, say, you know, we in our place, we have fun and we are going to enjoy. And put it this way, I always admire trees that I live here. If a one man at a dance, we come for nice and tough. And if a two man, we come for nice and tough. And if yeah. it's a hundred man, I just the same thing. So yeah. we try to entertain whosoever is there. So that's another part. And and I think that instinct make me can know when an artist is delivering. Yes, for sure. You understand me? That's why I could predict being a man. Not me, man, no, you know. Being a man that you to uh, me take for them a little boy. If I'm ever help you with them one of banner for them a nine year old. Okay. I'm a, I'm a bunny wheel, bunny wheel, I'm the smallest that I help you with them with them boys. And I never forget when them boy must stay there, man. As a youth, them boy. <laughs> and the world stay them. I remember the Mandela. The Mandela, the Mandela thing. And when he run come out straight at my children coming out so father, them boy, remember that's the father man said, them boy. Yeah. You just must know. Yeah. You um, <laughs> the whole world know, you know. But yeah. this is a big thing for you. But I feel like at the world, you said, no, be the man. That's why, you know, same you that the negative thing and in just in, and then realize from this as a me there is a power. Whether it's good or it's bad enough. To what they may have talk on it. I mean I didn't a conversation for when they have Bobby the child funeral right there. Mm -hmm. You see me, I run come over to me and say, well, I'm father, long time I don't see you, you know. I mean, I say, yeah, man, long time I don't see you, too. <laughs> you good. So, and he might tell me, I mean, he might talk, and he might say, Scorpio, media. Media, whether it's good or bad, it's all good for you. So, no, but I've met them for you. So, we know that from me telling him, I've seen him to me, when me and him go, me and him tell him, say, I never forget it now, then, when him come and him to them. I said, no, nah, man, I bust it, just bust, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> and then, you know, what, as I said, my encouragement to them, them know, say, me do a lot to them career. Mm -hmm. Him, Little Kurt, White Mice, and, I mean, name them. The, 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 the Shabba, the Yellow Man, the Bean Man, the, the, um, 
bounty. One mm. of them give them so much good, great advice about clashing and this and them. You know, most of them just honor me as a father to them too. We yeah. want me to over the years. So, although me the lucky man, I don't go out there. I don't. Sometimes, you know, everybody that wonder how scarpy. No one again I will go. And you know what I mean? But no one again me just lucky. Me just. Let me do go out of good with it one night. It's too long. You know? Scarpio, come on stage. <laughs> uh, call me up for an yeah. interview. Yeah. Let me see me that half thing. But I mean, you know, spirit is there. And as I said, sometimes, to be honest, tell him to pull. So my son, I'm going to go hear him. I don't want to hear them thing there. I know Paul is more decent, man, for him to really play in anything, you know. For sure. I'm not supposed to go very too much. Mm -hmm. So I can't take him in. I mean, you go there early for the young people. Them, 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 them. Oh, God. All right. Have you ever clashed with Stone Love, Black Scorpio? Well, yeah, man. Enough time. Well, I mean, you know, over the years, you know, every year I used to have my anniversary and it's Stone Love and Scorpio, you know. Mm -hmm. We're clashing about in, is there something more like a friendly thing that the artist clash like all oh, our cuss and this and that. Oh, well, every year me and Stone Love normally play. Me and Stone Love sometimes jam it on my anniversary of your time. So it's just for the past two years we don't play because of like an incident with him and worry. You know, so it caused a, a, a little dish and we never get to play the last time we played. That is what yeah, that, it was my 50th anniversary, Stone Love should be there. Okay, for know. sure. But then it was thing and worry. You being in the business for so long, how do you even feel about something that would worry and father Paul where they're not seeing eye to eye anymore? How does that make you feel as somebody that's been foundation in the business? It is not a good look, you know, to be honest. I mean, people have difference from man and woman have them different theory and people have different, but you know, you know, good to me because, and I know I caught up in it, you know, because I used, I was on a tour with my 50th anniversary. I used one in New York, one in, in, um, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. in, yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. And, um, one in Jamaica mm -hmm. and in that I used Rory in the one in Connecticut. And that's where, um, Paul upset with me. And I did have Paul food and Paul, so I must take him out one road the really park. So I don't talk to Paul for over a year because of that. I just what? recently, yeah. I just recently met him change backwards to, you know, I must say me that mom and I like him care, but I think it was a you know, you get me I mean I in, in thought I was using um um in when the selector there. Rory. Rory. I was using Rory. In America, I never used him. And I said, no, that wasn't the case. We want to use you. I will call him and everything and thing. But what him did want, him did want to, something like him want a piece of the dance or something like that. And the guy, well, did I help put the dance? And no. And then no, the guy go for Rory. And that make it worse. Yeah. One will mix up. Man, I do him live to talk about it because sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, oh, I'm getting involved in a certain little mix up with them animosity. But it's not a good look for the business. Mm -hmm. Vote for him. And, you know, I, 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 I know the both of them. I know we're friends. I like you for worry. I think worry is stone love and stone love is worry. But, you know, it's, it, 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 but I can say it's just. It, it's, it's not your song, so it doesn't matter what no, any no. of us think. No. It's not our song. I'm going to ask you two questions and get you out of here, okay? Give me your memory of your biggest clash that you remember that Black Scorpio won. Oh. Biggest clash. Biggest clash, man. Yeah. One that sticks out in your memory, say, yes, I feel good about this. Well... Honestly, um, I win a clash in a New York City in the other Bronx with me, Downbeat, and Sky Juice, I guess. Yes. Where I get a huge cup, and that was one who was sticking at me. And a big clash with 
down beat in him own backyard and you know don't be that tough stuff. yes <laughs> yes yes and that is one i can remember was a great fact sky juice just win world slash okay you understand with the week here so you know him in up on a hype mm -hmm. and don't be too from new york who you know said the whole new york obviously me as the underdog i am the underdog but end up that's me take the trophy and win the trophy so that was a big one for me mm -hmm. and um the next big one the next big one would be skank cutney and jammies with relay was a big clash yeah. that in kind of cut and you know we're talking about two of the dance to them mm -hmm. you know yeah because jammy seems to be your 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 biggest rival when it yeah comes yeah to definitely that. definitely yeah. my biggest rival there's so many clash with me and him him win some win some but you know for the night before him win him win not him win not um a new year but it, like i said go on you know but it was like four <laughs> away it was like me and him alone that dance was me him downbeat and radigan yes <laughs> Yeah. And they said that dance. And the following night, you know, me and him alone, they are kind of the court. I'm going to say, hey, are you asking me about chap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we have to be a big cup. I'm going to say, oh, I go for him, man, but you want me and him alone, you know? Yeah. No, no, what, you know? What I mean, you know? We, 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 we have fun. We have some great time in music yeah. and in dance clash. Me and Jamie, to be honest. You're right. What, is it, what is it you like about sound clash and even the modern day sound clash what is it that you really enjoy about clashes you know so the engine is the music where you play and the vibe of the crowd and then you know in the modern days like in the 80s when the two dj them if i remember me and kilimanjaro a fight like a yes. <laughs> yes. And yeah. general tree, a chap they tell you have a man there i'm a mouth i have a man name i select on the hands and then you have even Super cat them for them mm -hmm. then, and it's like when when in the class you go on and DJ them a chat, hey, God Almighty! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because I know that are, was another big. Uh, Jaro was another one of your big competitors. Here. Yes, man. Me and Jaro plays Wences, man. Wences, then time a DJ for DJ, man, and 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 Volcano too. Mm -hmm. Is that a man that again? Wa, you know. Did, did, did we grew some great clash with him all over Jamaica. I remember one night we clash with him at Spanish Town, Prison Oval, and him at Bull Bant, and we know Bulky you now, John Jam, the whole of the artists them. Mm -hmm. And all me have was half pint and I you near Little Mickey and General Tree. Yeah. And then we got to our tune, you know, we got to our tune here. Prison Oval Rock! And we go to our Prison Oval Rock in that prison time we try it. We see the wall of the prison light and light up. We don't know what the man and get fire in our fire. We see all boy of a prison. Hey! I never declare that we don't forget to tell you how to declare it. Oh my God. No, Saskavia. The window where you, hey, yo, or them, they are clash. I used to clash them. Can yeah. see you draw a tune here? And we look, you know. A prison, the hey, that time we, we look on fire. I'm, oh my yeah. god, yeah, you you understand because one of the last clashes I remember seeing you in was um, the one at Rebel Salute with Dynamic. How Dynamic. did that come How did well, that you, come know, you know, say Dynamic, me and him is a you to a Marisa with, and you know, I. I I I I I I I I like I don't take him I don't go to Rebel Salute for really go kill it then. Okay. Him come with the intention which I didn't know because on the ship, mm -hmm. which was the Jam Rock Cruise, mm -hmm. Jamis never come and me and Jamis them did have a big clash with the Jam Rock Cruise that is in December. Mm -hmm. So you know, that Jamis never come. So him clash with us so on I see him vibes and him did come second with the white guy with. So, when my time for playing you know, on me, bring him in, as a youth, realize that, uh, you know, the African youth, so, me I try to boss him now, and it end up that, the vibe nice, and then, come to Jamaica, and, you know, rebel, call me and say, 
they like a thing, and we say, yeah, man, call the same African you then. So, me and him are communicating, everybody showing some communication, me and him are like, <laughs> give you me. So, when me, you know, it's where we salute that. So, mm -hmm. me give him props, you know why? Because he is an entertainer like myself, and him, but, when we really see him turn on the dance and we more kill me and kill me, pick me and kill me, everybody said, Really? <laughs> <laughs> and at that time of the dance, I said, No, you know, um, give him a strength, make him go on because it's all good. But, you know, maybe our next time. For many of my reasons, you know, many reasons, oh, we have a tour and. Really, oh really, really. It was yeah. just right before everything happened and slowed down everything right now. Right now, because we did don't plan to we are go Africa and we are go out. For me, I have so much date otherwise, you know. We, we, I did really have a lot of date. And yeah. I know if it never happened, many would have played elsewhere already for people that love to see that. But, sure. but to, to be honest, I give him a proper same win the class because you know why? Because I never go with the intention for what like fame intention when come with me to be a many reason mm -hmm. if i was show you some i have him file i will him a real now <laughs> you know i said read him go give him so he must know okay yes win, win. but as i said it's one of them things there and it's good for the business and as an elder i will you know it so much that's why it surprised people but as an elder we if you see how much people, it really impacts throughout the world. Mm -hmm. It's good for the business and it's good for Africa, it's good for the youth and good for me too, because it's the biggest platform for me. Whether I, 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 I give him a prop, you win the one there. I would have just whoops it. I would have hit him again. I would have take him. I would have killed it for the, for you know what I do? Mm -hmm. Let me show you how we can, um, um, you know, we're going to play against 12 Sona Harry in our day after Fiend Clash. You That's the day. one with Silverhawk and all of those songs here. Yeah. Yeah. You never, you never see it? No, I heard of it, but I didn't see it. Hey, yo, you see, I don't know, go on. I'm dominating at that time, mash up the crowd and that, you know. Okay. I'm just going to go talk and tell them, say, for all I tune what the youth play, me just play them and show them. Say, I said, me have them. I do, as me say, me just, no one destroy the youth. I'm, I'm not, I'm not come for destroy champ. I come for a race champion. Yeah. So it's like me raise the youth and give him an element and give reggae music element to to make people know say. But it's what me do with them at twelve. Yo. But I'm gonna say if this one the uh, no rock me think would I have tour all about and people that want to see me and him some more because yeah. it was a good good vibes and people love it and. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm yeah. say it, it it end up I him win the class because me never go with the intention to kill him like when go for kill me. Right. Never, <laughs> but if you know what he's saying, you know, yeah. that class, you know, me never mention to me or kill him. No. <laughs> never. No. I would have never I don't do that because I never come with that. So I was surprised when he said won't do that. But him wanted the hype. Yeah. And if you know, this one again, when we look on it, I said to the people, I said to everybody, I said, what he done is good, his entertainment is great, but it will come like the song we make today, you can't listen to it 20 years from now. Yeah. The song what I play the next 50 years ago, you want to listen them back again because yeah. it's some classic songs that I yeah. play. You understand me? So, yeah. you know, what as I said, that don't make you be a winner, but sometime over the years, people will see it. It's just like a big year, I come and everybody attack and big year. What do you not playing a tune? I'm going to do some gimmicks and talk about some alligator and, <laughs> <laughs> and then people laugh. That's it. See? <laughs> but I don't really say I'm playing a tune like Scarfio, which is a fact. Yeah. I'm not playing a tune like me. I'm not playing the quality tune. But as I said, I I, I can't go deny it because me and him never have it to be a clash. His yeah, income yeah. changed it. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I never go with that intention to mm -hmm. even play mm -hmm. a gun tune or a, nothing like that. Yeah. I have it enough. Could have more and do it enough. Yeah. Who have to play like me? 
Yeah. I, I won't have to black me for play. You, you, you have the studio, so clearly there's oh, anybody, nobody's on. supposed to have more dubs than the person that has a studio. No yeah, more. Listen, you know, listen, I have so many, but I'm say I never go with that intention for it. That's what I'm mean, just watching when I laugh. But I'm just say it's entertainment. It was great fun. Yeah. And it was it was a great platform. You're so, right. Okay. You're the this is this, you're the only person that I know that could answer this question truthfully. Okay, you've worked with Yellow Man, you've worked with Beanie Man. Mm -hmm. Who is the king of the dance hall? No, well, it's in me. Why? You see, Beanie Man here is now, but to be honest, mm -hmm. what I see Yellow Man do, I don't see Beanie Man and no other artist in this history right now do it. Not okay. even Shabba then. Because Yellow Man swallowed Wellman Stadium in a new in a England two nights upon a street. Sold what? out Wellman Stadium. People just line up for come see this like mm -hmm. And me see a thing up in New York City down in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. I take my own eye and say right upon the waterfront down in Manhattan where they I miss the people like rice grain to come see yellow man. Well, me now I got to say, I remember this, you know, what I'm trying to tell you about, we're talking about one artist, you know. Mm -hmm. The young artist, I think, go near that it would be like a shabba, maybe. I miss the Bojo do it what day, when For Bojo sure. come from prison. Mm -hmm. Can't take it away from him in that national stadium. Mm -hmm. That was the big one. That is the one. But B, see yellow man full, well me the stadium. Two night for one night couldn't wall the people and then come out the following night and full again. That's great. One artist. Mm -hmm. So in the days of that until now, I would have said him is a rain, him rain over yellow yeah, being a man at this time. Mm -hmm. But in his time, he really was the king. Mm -hmm. So the king of dance for me and my year would be yellow man. But for now, you see, we have to say. You know, being a man is a great actor. He's a wonderful actor. And he has some great songs to what entertain people. And, you know, he makes a lot of hit songs. So now, I see it. You, you, if, if, if you say, if, if, if you want to serve you, you know, I say, oh, that being a man and the first and cartel. Then why is the cartel the king then? Yeah. At this time here right now, because I'll win their prison, but more hit more than being a man. You understand what I'm saying? So, but in being a man time, which is no, you have to give him him prop. But I still rate Yellow Man as one of the greatest one artists that Jamaica bring. And I have to give him that credit because none of them don't do it as one artist. I don't know. They might be being a man by the full crowd all over the world. But what I'm saying in a, in a Yellow Man time, as you know, just come in and can full stadium him alone, that's good. We're not talking about other artists, we're talking about people just come listen to music just say to see Yellow Man. For that, don't do scholar, you know. Yellow Man is a DJ, my song, and when when we go out dance, you know, a police mafia have to guard him in for going there. You know. Yeah, man. So man. I want to blow. When yellow, hey, why you believe me, I feel? I mean, make yes, it's no Yellow Man, you know. And me carry yellow man at St. Thomas, you know. And my son, yellow man, go up on at St. Thomas. And me, and me have to tell, and me have to tell yellow man, say, boy, yellow man, yellow man, go and go work with Yesis, because what? Yesis never had a DJ. But me have, me have sat up for some trees. And yellow, man, and yellow man did that, that to them. Them couldn't for people no want to hear them. Everybody yeah. wants to yellow man. <laughs> when yellow man come and dance, a police, me have to use escort him, and escort me in. People like rice grain, you know, where the man go. No other artists not get them a, a color day. The young artists must come near that shabba. Yeah. But him still not get the color day like what being it, like what young yellow get. Yellow man, when yellow man is near, yellow man. Anywhere he go, anywhere him a go, remember me tell you. Please, please come in, just to come to the Dundo Scholar. So crazy. And again, the fact that you live that and you've seen through it, it's so crazy. Jack, 
I really, really, really wish I could sit here for another three, four hours because I know we still didn't even touch the surface yet. No, but you see, but you see this right here. Yeah, in, in your towel, man. Yeah, <laughs> But you see what we got. I'm so grateful that you actually made it happen. Thank you so very much. I can't wait till you actually come back to Toronto. I've seen you in Toronto many of times. And I've seen yeah, man, you. Yeah, man, that's planning, man. Yeah, what you do? Planning. I mean, we get that thing. Um, after the COVID thing, cool down anyway. I got and you. You never contact. know. You got my contacts, so you never know. You know, I mean, look at that who work with me. And we suppose we have a lot of tour. You know, we have tour for tour in a tamper. May have one in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. May have one in a, um, Bermuda. Okay. Yes. I have so many. I mean, I think go New York. Me had this supposed to play. So many dance. Everything just. And put it this way, I get advanced on the wall of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then now you have to shuffle around and all type of stuff. It just But I mean, you know, as I said, you know, Hopefully oh, one day we can for a long time with the mind come to Canada, come spin some tune or whatever. Baby. Yeah. Maybe not one of them festival it will be good. Yeah. You know, some of them festival if you see a legend like me come for sure. to work and play to <laughs> um, for some all me doing now most thing, mm -hmm. I still will play some dub. But what I'm trying to do, if I go there to play, mm -hmm. I mostly care I'm a father to five them. And I try to tell it, select the selector, the um, promoter, I say, get a turn team, like I can show them the God. label of these songs, what them I hear from computer and I know say, this it I come from. Yeah. But this is what enough of these young selector, young people want to know. When them hear she's mine and them I hear so long, but this is where it I come from, the father fire, I put it on. Every day I love it, just, I mean, you know, you know, me know for love, make me talk and do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the crowd boys we must get yeah. forward. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. things yeah. like that. So we can give a good hour of my selection before we go give another hour of some classic dub or yeah. some class and bowl of vibes. Something like that. We just want to teach, educate, and have fun. That's what me I look for tour from. I and mean, I just look for tour for just this is black scarf. This is like how you interview me. Yeah. So Moan forgot to send the message out there to the kids them and to the people them. I mean them see the legacy and the work what I do. Yeah. When I can tell you say I sit down with Dennis Brown, fear about me and Dennis Brown a reason, a reason and you know, as man like Pam Step and Dennis Brown, like my shoulder the right down let's say about two to three <clears throat> three about about a yard, about a, a yard from where we sit. Mm -hmm. About two, three yards, then three feet one yard, about three yards. And by the time we get up for a reason, you know, and by the time Dennis Brown get up, and by the time I'm going to open the studio door, when you go in the studio, the rhythm, we never have no plan to go for it, nothing, you know, just the rhythm I play. Friends for life rhythm, you know, we call it friends for life. <laughs> we call it. And the rhythm upon the board. Yeah. And when we hear him, like what I just say, tell me why can't I? Be your friends for life. I'm oh, hear the melody and the lyrics. I said, why is that Dennis? See the fighting room that go around the rapper find lyrics for this. No. <laughs> Remember, I saw that tune they make, you know. Instantly that tune they make when the man was going out here with the man as a melody. Yeah. Tell me why can I be your friends for life? And we just did under right in the hand, culturally and like that. History. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, and Dennis blew some great songs. Why, when we lose them man, they like my name like talk because it's hurt me hard to say. Mm -hmm. You know, where were you on? when? Where, do you remember where you were when you got the message, Dennis Brown? Yeah, right? man, me in my shop when. Well, I want to tell you this. Mm -hmm. me, me hear the message when them died, but me I tell you when him coming from from um Brazil, mm -hmm. Brazil, him and Gregory is that going on. He man gave me the my shoulder every day now, them that left me. So as Gregory come back, yeah. as Gregory come on my shoulder, come say to me, say, Scorpio, I know him talk, Scorpio, why do one Dennis come like him want to run competition with me? Hospital ain't going to me now, because he must shoot up himself on the plane. See him, you know? Because Dennis 
and him lick the cork and him overdo it and look like I don't know. He need have some other sickness to and fuck with right? well, But anyway, he end up from Brazil straight in a UC. Never him come home. Yeah. And Greg will come down on my show, come tell me that the morning. Yeah, the first one then coming, coming. Let me know. Boy, it's just one of those things here. Leave something there. Leave some info so they could check out Black Scorpio, Jack Scorpio, any stuff you have coming up. Where could they check out your catalog online? Well, my catalog, them would have to check, um, you know, um, originalblackscorpio at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Automatically, you get me on WhatsApp. You get me on um, YouTube. Yeah. And you can check Jack Scorpio, Black Scorpio, Jamaica, or Jack Scorpio on YouTube. You can say Jack Scorpio, Jamaica, or Black Scorpio, Jamaica. But, you know, and you have Black Scorpio recording, www.blackscorpiorecord.com. That is my website, my data run that. And also on my e another email address. Mm -hmm. My email address, if you want to, you know, invest in quite where, where, is originalblackscorpio at gmail.com, our low key letter, O R I G I N A L. D L A C K S C O R P I O at gmail.com. So it's, 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 it's there, you know. But as I said, Zodiac have my catalog, to be honest. They have a wide range of black scarf catalog. I know them, they're all over the farm. Mm -hmm. And Westbury is my publisher. Okay. They, have a, they have a lot of. Nice stuff what they publish. Trust me, I, I can't and wait. Cap, <laughs> you know, but as I said, I am planning, my plan now mm -hmm. is to go into the studio, mm -hmm. remix some of these great songs, and just come back with about, try to come with a Black Scarpe Greatest Hits. Yeah. We'll be waiting for it because I know when it comes out, it's going to be amazing because the catalog of Black Scorpio is crazy and again a lot of people right now existing in 2020 they don't really understand the depth of that catalog no it's we'll true. be looking forward to it i know i know it's, it's real too you know everybody asking me for it and i i'm going I, i'm going to ask god for a little more health and look more life and look more health and strength to get this job over but i'm going there i definitely will be there going going to it this year so that things is opening up back a little and all of that yeah. and I will be uh, talking to my son and I can sit to him and explain to him what the plan and let me and him go on some a journey. Yeah, man. So. Father, Father Jack, Jack, thank you so very much for this. This was an epic conversation. Very epic. epic very very epic. epic. You need you need to send me about this because this is history. This sure, is what, what 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 I do here, I don't do this like you know, so long I might give a man as a 15, 20 minutes, but yeah, yeah, you have a vibe, so I just work with you. When you, you when you edit it and all of that, mm -hmm. send me one, I can make my daughter get it and yeah, she will. I'll email it to you. Yeah, she will, you know, send it yeah. out. Thank you. Let me give you an intro and get you out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast and we are out. Blessing. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.